Hi, my name is Hannah Biggs and I'm an International Grand Prix dressage rider. Welcome to my home. I'm going to show you how I train and work with my horses to prepare for competition at all levels. So I showed you earlier the start of flying changes with Archie, my seven-year-old. And now I'm going to progress on towards the tempi changes and show you just how important all these basics are. So as I'm preparing the horse for the flying changes, I've got to think about the quality of the, the canter. The rhythm, the balance, the suppleness through his back. Without any of these, the tempi changes just aren't going to be possible. So I'm going to work on that a little bit first and then show you how they help improve the quality of the changes. Right, so I'm going to make sure that he's supple to both sides. We can do a little bit of lateral work in the canter, a little bit of simple shoulder in. Good oh boy. A little bit of speed control in the canter, a little bit of forwards and back. So all of these things you can then use in the tempi changes to help improve them. Okay. So now I'm going to just do a couple of really simple single flying changes with some of the exercises I showed earlier to help improve the expression. So a little bit of collected, a couple of strides forwards, and then immediately collect. Good boy. Making sure I can do a little bit of shoulder in on this rein. He's feeling nice and supple through his back. Nice into the contact. Boy, a little bit of speed control. Good. Oh boy, okay. So, collected before the change. Forwards. Change. Collected again. Oh boy. This just helps make him sit back on his hind legs a little bit more so he can get that expression up through the front legs. So now I'm just going to put this together into some tempi changes. Just to make sure he's listening to me. He's cantering on his hind legs. Good boy. Okay. A little bit collected. Forwards. Change. Collect. Good boy. And forwards. Change. Collect. Good. Now I'm not thinking about the strides in between at this point, I'm just thinking about this exercise and getting in thinking forwards and back with the changes themselves to get that expression. Oh boy, so forwards, change, collect. Oh boy. Now I'm going to try and put it in and actually count the strides. So I'm going to do Three changes every fourth stride. Oh boy. So collect, forwards, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh boy. And within those changes, I managed to collect him a little bit, forwards, change, and then collect back again. Good. Let's refresh the counter with a little bit of forwards. Oh boy. Make sure he's nice and flexed through the corner and back on his hind legs. Okay, now I'm going to try it with the threes, but I'm going to keep the canter a little bit more forwards throughout it. So collect first, and then one, two, three, one, two, three. Good boy. So those changes would be a little bit too forwards for a test, but I want him really thinking forwards during those changes. Boy, so it keeps jumping and keeps the expression. And forwards again. Good 
what way. Now he's feeling quite nice in the contact. I'm going to do those threes again, nice and forwards. Prepare in the corner, collect back a little bit. And forwards, and one, two, three, one, two. Good boy. So now he's thinking nice and forwards. I'm going to try some twos and see if I can just sit a little bit quieter in the twos and that he starts to think forwards a bit more on his own. So a little bit collected before and then allow forwards and hopefully he should keep thinking forwards himself during these changes. Good boy, well done. Now we're going to go for the ones. The ones you do have to ride a little bit more collected. So he has to stay on his hind legs. But of course we still want him thinking forwards. But I'm going to keep him a little bit more collected. Collected doesn't mean slow. Collected means on his hind legs, but still quick. Good boy. So that's the culmination of all our work that we do straight right from the beginning when you start the flying changes all the way to the top, the creating that expression, keeping them nicely forwards. Good boy. And they want to do those changes themselves. Good boy. Good. It's such a joy to ride and train this horse every day. I trained him up to Grand Prix myself and I can't tell you how important it is to have those basics. It's such an incredible feeling to ride these Grand Prix movements, but we wouldn't be where we were without getting those basics right first. Every day I ride him, I'm working on them and then I get to experience that amazing feeling at the end of it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. They've been brought to you by Jackson's Equestrian. I use and endorse Jackson products because quite simply, they are the best and offer quality that lasts.